Here at the RTK Roadshow, we present our RTK VRS network. All reference stations that we have installed in our area, which includes Lower Austria, Bergenland, Western Hungary and parts of Styria, work together. They provide the data that they receive to our software, which is installed on a web server. Therefore, we have installed a cellular modem inside the tractor containing the SIM for internet connection. The tractor sends the actual position he gets from GPS satellites via the internet to the software. The position he gets from GPS satellites via the internet to software. This software calculates a virtual reference station in the area next to the tractor and you receive corrective returns. It all happens in real time with less than a second delay. In the whole area we are covering, about 2.5 million hectares, it is possible to run with the appropriate accuracy of below 2.5 centimeters. Today at the New Holland RTK Roadshow we present three different types of guidance systems. In this New Holland T6.120, we have installed an assisted steering system. The steering motor makes the moves of the steering wheel instead of the driver and keeps the tractor on track. Now let's create an AB line on this field. Here we define the A point. Now you can see the A point is set. Now we'll go to the other side of the field. In this case, the driver has to steer the vehicle himself. We define the second point, the so-called B point. Now the recording of the first track is finished and we can start with work, therefore we turn the vehicle. You can see we have skipped two lanes and are moving into the third lane now. We're lowering the attachment now and activate the system. Then we move automatically into the lane. In the upper left corner of the display you can see the corresponding offline distance in centimeters. Here you can see that we're already running exactly in the desired track. Based on these movements of the steering wheel, which typically takes the driver, you can see that the tractor is precisely on track. As you can see in this installed system, an electric motor takes the orders of the steering system. Here we can see our first recorded tracks and now we're trying to take this track with a harrow again. Let's see if we're really right back to the position where we need to be. Now we are sitting on our New Holland T7.235 Auto Command. The steering system which we installed in this tractor is an autopilot. In this case we can activate the steering system already in standing position. This is made by using the unique multifunction controller. The display shows a green steering wheel icon that indicates the readiness of the system. As you can see, in this system the steering wheel doesn't move in contrast to the first system. If you move the steering wheel for quitting the automatic steering process, you get the control of the steering wheel back immediately. In this case, the 12-inch display shows an overview of the field. 
Furthermore, different controls of attachments and additional backup cameras can be shown in the display. We have the ability to activate the system in return mode. That means that if we want to choose the next lane, we can start the system during the return. Then the system steers the vehicle into the next lane automatically. Now we are activating the system and the tractor is already turning on track. Now we are sitting on the New Holland T9.560, an articulated tractor. This is the top series of New Holland. On this tractor we have installed the directly integrated New Holland steering system IntelliSteer with the IntelliView 3 monitor. The system runs by using this tractor's own monitor, where also the remaining operations of the tractor can be shown. The advantage of this system is that it is not necessary to install a second display. The clarity is thus preserved. The IntelliSteer system differs from other Trimble systems in the integration of the receiver and the computer in the antenna, not in the display. As you can see, a large rectangular antenna is installed. It contains the corresponding connection for accuracy. In this system you have the ability to customize the layout on the screen individually. A general view in which you can add the tracks. A listing of the various tracks that you have created. You can choose tracks from this listing or adjust levels of aggressiveness. On screen 4 you can see a broader overview of the field. On screen 5, the general overview of what has already been processed. In screen 6, a layout was individually chosen that you can see the tractor's displays, for example the fuel gorge, etc. This IntelliSteer system can already be ordered with purchase of the tractor. Uh, it is available from the T7 series due to the presence of the IntelliView monitor. Currently, this is integrated from the T7 series. Finally, I want to add that the steering systems, which we have seen and presented today, can not only be installed on new Holland tractors, but on tractors of all brands. The only necessary component is a hydraulic steering, a power steering, and we can accordingly integrate these systems. Then the tractors can be steered to an accuracy of 2.5 cm, lane to lane, and even in absolute accuracy.